Hi everyone, it's Lee Jen Man here and in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform cold calls or outbound calls for any promotion, upsell or literally cold calls to your prospect by using retail AI or your AI voice agent and integrating those with NA10. It is very easy. Trust me, continue watching till the end and you will be able to build this type of AI voice agent very quickly. So let us take a use case. Let's say we are a dental clinic owner, right? So I have already gone ahead and written the prompt for you. So what we are doing is we are trying to upsell with a promotion of free dental clinic. So we have the database of all the prospect who has visited us before. So we, we have the last visited date, the email, the name as well as the detail like what issue they had the last time. So that when we are doing the outbound calls for this time, we will say, Hi Manthan, you visited us last time. Now it's a really good time to do a clinic or a checkup, something like that, free checkup because you had this cavity or gum problems. Like it is much recommended. What we are doing is we are trying to do an upsell to our free dental clinic promotion. And we have all of this access. We have their phone number, we have their email address. So in case if they are interested in free checkup, they can easily book appointment. And the best case is we don't have to ask for the emails because sometimes in email our AI voice agent is not able to jot down the email perfectly. So that's why like it is the best case and we are going to use any time. So what I have did is I have already gone ahead and written the prompt for you because it will take so much of the time and prompt is very easy. Because in that lecture or in that video of prompt engineering, I have described every single one of the details. So if you haven't watched it, make sure to watch that prompt engineering for AI voice agent. So what we are doing is we have this information name, email, last visited date and the details. Yeah, the title name, sorry, the column name here. Yeah. Then what we are doing is we are giving a free dental checkup promotion and schedule this meeting. Or schedule or book a appointment yeah that's pretty much it the step one is ask the user how they are and ask if they have five minutes to call them for free dental checkup and if they say yes check for availability we are using cal.com and if there is availability in our calendar it will book appointment that's pretty much it you don't have to add any of this information here it is very easy then if once checking availability it will book the appointment yeah that's it Step 1 is for checking availability, step 2 is for booking availability. If the user says no, it will end the call right over there because we have added this function of end call as well. And these are some response guidance. What we are doing is we are making our AI voice agent British or in kind of a British action. That's why even in the voice we have used Anthony. So if we search for Anthony, I think Anthony is British and middle age, yeah. Hello there, I'm Anthony, your health Awesome, guide. awesome British accent. And we are saying, made brilliant, proper cheers, so that it feels like it is in British section. Awesome, and we are converting the time zone as well. And we are calling the function or the tools that we have used. So we have only used three basic functions, book appointment, check calendar already, and end call. That's pretty much it. Now, here you might see, this is for the outbound calls and we are declaring a dynamic variable. So all of these variables are dynamic. What does dynamic variable basically means is, for example, in our Google Sheet, the next column will have different name, different email address, different last visited date and details, as well as the phone number. So we don't want to say hi month and to every single other prospect because that will be dynamic or that will be always changing. That is why it is known as dynamic variable and we are inscribing them inside this two curly bracket. That's why we are calling those dynamic variables and it and workflows. So I will show you. And even in the first line, I'm calling hello and it will replace the first name. Hello Manthan, hello Alex, hello John. I'm, I'm Dan from LGM or Lee Jen Merkel Dental Clinic. Am I catching up with the right time? If the user says yes, then it will ask, do you want a free promotion or a free dental clinic checkup? Something like that. Alright, so it's time to set up our workflow in any 10 and if you don't have any 10 it is actually a paid but I do have 15 day free trial link for you so it will be in the description section so make sure to check it out and if you use that it is my affiliate link if you use that link you will get 15 day free trial to test it out any 10 on your own so let us create a new workflow alright so first what we are doing is we are triggering whenever new prospect or whenever this phone number is added in this google sheet 
so for this use case you can trigger it manually and then we are connecting our google sheet so let us connect our google sheet search for google sheet and if you are using any for the first time it might feel overwhelming to you but trust me it is similar to make.com but it is much easier and much cheaper and in google sheet we want to fetch this particular row so click on get rows first of all we have to connect our google sheet account so i will do that all right my account is connected now select the spreadsheet that you have for your database i'm just giving an example if you are having an insurance company or if you want to upsell for a credit card if you are vending machine owner and you want to call, call all the local business like do you need vending machine something like that feel free to change the use case or feel free to change the circumstances so i'm using this google sheet and obviously i'm using sheet one yep so let us get the payload from google sheet so click on test tab. nothing will occur it will just get the payload all all of this information in any time yeah so we have our row number two phone number details owner name and email perfect so we have connected our google sheet now what we want to do is we want to perform outbound calls to this phone number by using our retail ai agent so how we are going to do that is by using api reference or by using documentation of retail ai so go to api reference and what we are doing is we are creating a phone call so click on try it nothing too crazy it is very easy all right so first we need to add our api key of retail ai so let us go to retail click on api keys use the one with the webhook or you can even create new one so i'm going to use my api key yeah and don't use my api key or don't get any funny idea i'm going to delete this key right after this video now from which number you want to perform your outbound calls so we will go to phone numbers you can easily buy phone numbers or import them via your twilio or via vonage so i'm going to use let's say this phone number all right and we have to change our outbound call agent to the agent that you are using here otherwise it won't make the call so we are using dental promotion agent awesome again let us copy the phone number and paste it here now two number is basically which number you want to call which will be our first row in this google sheet but as of now let us give out any demo phone number just as a payload make sure you are adding the country code as well as the plus sign and in override agent id we will use our agent id from here so copy it and paste it here that's pretty much it that's all you need to do nothing crazy now in llm dynamic variables so since i mentioned the dynamic variables that we are calling here are name email last visited date and the details so we have to add all of these fields as well as some demo data to make our outbound calls or to fetch all of this information here all right so what we will do is first of all we'll add the field name so first field name is name second field name is email third field name is last visited date and so on so i will add let's say name but make sure that it is very case sensitive dynamic variables are obviously case sensitive so the name that you are using here is the exact same that you are calling in your prompt i hope this makes sense you can use any demo data i'm going to use my name then we have email to be honest we have discussed so much thing in our course so make sure to check it out this course has around more than 13,000 students you can see we have another course specifically for retail ai and it is to be the best course in this world right now we have covered everything for example you can see any 10 integration make.com integration ghl go high level integration how you can start your own ai automation agency literally everything so i will put all of this course link in the description as well as we are running our own paid school where you will get one-on-one -on -one access with me so i will add that school link as well and this template will be available in that paid school community or in the courses so if you want to access these templates you have the link all right now we have last visited date so copy this feel free to add any date for links for instance let's say this one and lastly we have details even we can copy this and paste it here awesome so why we are doing is we want to able to generate a curl code so that we can easily enter that curl code via http post request so here what we will do is we will call our retail AI agent to perform those outbound calls by using these phone numbers that's why we are using this api reference to create a call code for us you can see we have the url we have the post request here and this is our code again nothing too crazy just bear with me right now so search for node http post request 
so we have HTTP request first of all change the method to post because we are performing outbound calls or cold calls now the URL simply just go to API reference copy this URL paste it here yeah nothing too crazy and in headers what we are calling is authorization and in value we have bearer space API key make sure you are adding space otherwise it won't perform awesome that's pretty much all you need to do now we are sending this cull code cull code is basically in raw json format in body type we will select raw and content type is application slash json and if you are not tech savvy or if you are getting very overwhelmed just follow with me yeah that's it and in body we are calling all of this cull code so copy it after that quotation mark from curly bracket to end of curly bracket sorry yeah till here don't include the quotation copy it awesome and that's why we are adding a demo data because in order to populate this field we want to add this demo data just copy it and even if you click on send it will perform outbound calls with this agent with the phone number that you have added here i will show you so in body make sure that you are not using for the fix because it is dynamic variable right it will be changing from every single of the prospect that's why we don't want to perform for fix we want to perform from expression where expression basically means that we can add the dynamic variables in this javascript code so copy or sorry paste our curl code here this is the phone number phone number will be the same because it will be the one that we are using from retail ai agent but two number will be always changing which is this first column so all you need to do is on the left hand side just drag it to here that's it so you can see it turned out to be green so it will be changing from every single one of the prospect in our crm or in our google sheet then in agent override it will be always the same next thing we want to change is all of those dynamic fields or dynamic variables that we have added simply map the fields that you are going after for instance where is the name yeah owner same goes for email address last visited date and the details why they visited last time and as you can see it will change from every single one of the prospect awesome that's why we are using expression and not fix i hope this makes sense to you and if we click on test tab i should get a call on my phone so yeah let's do it why wait let us click on test tab and it will perform outbound call yeah i got the call i hope you can see it let's answer it and you will be able to see it will change all of this dynamic variable to mine it will say hello manthan or the name that we have added in this google sheet hello manthan i am dan lgm care am i catching up with you at the right time yeah you are good but why are you calling me or how did you got my phone number i see you visited our dental clinic back in april 2002 for cavity and gum problems we got your contact from their mate i'm calling because we've got a proper good offer a free dental checkup valid until january 25th would you have five minutes to chat about it yeah yeah i would love that but do you mind sharing the email that i have registered i think i have changed my email i have your email as manthan2024 at gmail.com would you like to confirm if this is still your current email address and brilliant that you're interested in the free checkup when mm. would be a good time for you to pop in yeah i guess day after tomorrow at 11 a.m let me check the availability for you brilliant that slot's available just to confirm your manthan email is manthan2024 gmail.com and you'd like monday january 20th at 11 a.m shall i book that for you yeah why not let's do it booking your appointment now mate brilliant your appointment's all set for january 20th at 11 a.m any questions about the checkup if not i'll let you get on with your day yeah thank you very much that's pretty much it yeah you can see it booked the appointment right over here sorry the name was different because i was using another event in l.com which is this one flux vending machine appointment yeah but i hope this makes sense it is very easy to do and perform outbound calls yeah so let us go back to canvas and every single time when a new prospect is added in this list or if even if you want to call all the prospect you can easily do that all you need to do is change this module to run once for all of the contacts in this google sheet list yeah that's how you can perform outbound calls or cold calls by using any then without you having to add any webhook data or any inbound or agent level webhook that's pretty much it just make sure that the call code is correct and you can see it has said 210 successful it has made the call we have received the call just make sure that you are copying the code after the quotation mark 
pasting that in expression here and you are mapping those fields from your google sheet data or any crm solution that you are using you can use airtable hubspot clickup i don't know what crm you are using but i'm just giving an example what are the possibilities of ai voice agent to perform outbound calls even you can get your ai voice agent to handle all of these inbound calls with the added personalization i will talk about that in the next video but as of now i hope this makes sense to you you can achieve the same by using me.com but i prefer any 10 because it is much cheaper yeah that's pretty much it bye bye take care and i will see you in another one